Hello everyone, I'm Kristina Kulikova, founder of Cool Cat Entertainment Inc. For this month's issue is we are very, very thrilled to have a chance to sit down with one of Toronto's funniest comedians, uh, actors and TV hosts, uh, Mr. Andrew Chapman. So Andrew, um, I think being so young, it's impressive that you have such a phenomenal, phenomenal CV. Um, from starring or hosting shows on YTV, mm -hmm. some of the most loved shows like Made Up, Big Fun Movie, uh, there was a few others I believe, right? Yeah, Crunch, The Zone, Zone Weekend. Wow. Um, but so, so Andy, tell us, how did you get into comedy, comic theater, how did that all come about? Well, uh, it's very easy, because uh, I quickly discovered that I can't do much else. <laughs> I really can't, I really tried, and then I went, oh, and then found that people would just laugh at me anyways. Even if I was trying to be serious and, and you know, mature and everything. So, uh, yeah, I started doing stand up comedy when I was in high school uh, in the comedy clubs and everything in Ottawa. And then I came here to this great city of Toronto. And Is comedy what brought you here? Like, yeah. and theaters what brought you yeah. here? Yeah, I came here because Humber College has a comedy program. Uh, and I just wanted to tell jokes, and my mom wanted me to go to college, and luckily, the two met. So, most pressing question for you that I've been dying to ask you. Mm. Being a dance production company owner, host, choreographer, have you danced before? I try to. I like to dance. Okay. Um, in the shower? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that is, it resulted in ambulance calls. No, I like to swing dance, partner dance. But this club, you know, the club dance, I don't, I can't, I don't do this. I, I can't do this. But swing dance, I can kind of do. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to put you up to a challenge a little bit. Okay. And we're going to try a little bit of a Latin dance. Oh, great, with the yep. hips. With the hips, okay. all about the hips. I can do this. You ready? Sure. Okay, okay here we go. Okay, so over here. Come over to her here. Now, what we have first, are you oh, ready? Okay, ready? can I do this with you? Yeah, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna oh, hold it. Man. All right, so find your left foot. Like right here. All right, cool, now find your other left foot. Wait, I guess what you mean this one. You got it, okay, got now it. I'm confused. This is your, okay, cool. Yeah. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna march on the spot, okay? Are you ready? We're sure. just gonna march, we're gonna go. I got a lot of shoulder action. Is that okay? Ah, see? Now that rhythm. I have no rhythm. Now let go of my neck. Okay. Don't grab me with my yeah, neck. Girls have told me that before. <laughs> so now put up his head. So what we're gonna do is I've been dancing oh, with you. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay, yeah. Are we good? I think we're good. Keep okay. going. Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, so now moving on to what brings Andy here. And that's his next lineup of successes, we shall say. Um, starring in or playing the lead role in Defending the Cave. Well, it's not, it's just the role. There's only <laughs> one role. It's lead, supporting, it's, the, I'm just one guy. It's just a one man show. So it's all on you, 100% just all you. Yeah. You better so make it good. I know. Ooh. Lots of pressure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I guess, from what I understand, it's been a production that's traveled the world. Yep. And this particular uh, production is directed by I Love It. That's so, right, I Love Productions, uh, by wonderful director Pam. Um, I, I've only been in, in it, involved in it since September, really, 15, wow. 2015. But yeah, the play's been around for tw uh, 25 years. Uh, Rob Baker uh, wrote it, he's a stand-up, and he developed it over two years. And it's all about you know, men and women and being married and newly married and trying to figure out why does my wife do this and <laughs> she doesn't like it when I do that, but it, our differences is what keeps us together. Which is nice because it kind of has a, like a, a comic twist to it, right? Because it's a serious topic, why, you know, male-female relations, but they do it in kind of a funny, funny way. Yeah, I think, I think you have to do it in a funny way, otherwise no one would be together. But it's wonderful because we did it uh, a few months back and uh, it really is a universal language. That's why it's probably so popular all around the world, you know? People get married and whether you speak different languages or whatever, you can all relate to, yeah, that's true, my husband does do that. And our audiences range from 25 to 65. Wow, and yet that's they a very can, broad age category. Yeah. Everybody can relate. And so newlyweds or people who are just engaged, they love it because they're like, this is what I can expect for the next years of my life. Or take my ring, take my ring. Yeah. And then people who've been married for 50 years, they go, yep. We've, uh, we've done that several times, so there's stuff in the play that everyone can, can relate to. Okay, okay, so here's one thing you're going to need to learn about Latin dancing. Are you ready? Sure. If the girl is not turning, she thinks she's not dancing. If the girl is not, not turning? Not turning, she thinks she's not dancing. Okay. okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to lift up your hand, uh -huh. okay? And I'm going to go check out every other guy in the room. Boy, story of my life. Okay, then I'll come back to you. Oh, is okay. he at the end of That's nice of you. So now, here I am doing all this work, yeah. shaking my hips and everything, uh -huh. and you're doing nothing. I don't know what to do. Am I so supposed to do this? Yeah, there you go. Continue to march. Continue oh, to march okay. and shake your hips. Okay, awesome. And 
then we're gonna go through. Are you ready? And then we're gonna do that all in close position. Are you ready? We're gonna do everything again. Everything again. That's right. Okay, go. I can launch on this one. Alright, so let's try this. Oh, we start the close position. And then launch. What is your favorite part about the plane? Is there any you know specific scenes that you can relate to or that you know idea that you can relate to? Or, or what just what's your favorite part? Uh, my, one of my favorite parts is um, is talking to the audience. This is kind of a different uh, way of doing it. A lot of times, a lot of the ways that Defending Caveman has been done is it's just one guy and sort of talks to the audience. Uh, what what Pav has decided to do and what we've done is we've kind of made it sort of an inclusive thing with the audience. Sort of like a group therapy like interactive night. more around. Very much so. And uh, so sometimes I'll ask questions, pose questions to the audience. Because there are questions built in, but mm -hmm. they're more like, um, what's that word? That you're like, it's a, it's a rhetorical question where there is no answer, but I actually do want an answer from the audience. <laughs> we can get a dialogue going. Cool. And that's, that's what I love. And, and uh, there are some times where uh, I just kind of laugh. Because we do have people on stage as well, and you sort of interact with them. They I'm, I'm going to sit in the very back of your show, just so I don't get well, we don't, on We don't stage. really make fun of them. And people are more than welcome to make fun of me, uh, and that kind of thing. But, uh, so I, I just love the fact that each show is a customized show for that particular audience, and like a snowflake, no two shows are alike. That's what I love. I heard actually a very interesting fact that um, the, the project was, or the play, was recommended by marriage counselors to oh, yeah. couple therapy. Uh, couples in therapy. The greatest success story, uh, last one that we did in October, there was a guy who came, a young guy, you know, in his 20s, whatever, and he came on stage, and after the show, he came backstage, which I didn't realize was allowed. I don't have a very good security system. But anyways, he came back and he like shook my hand, and he thought I wrote the play and everything, but he's like, I'm going through a rough patch in my relationship. Everything this play talks about is exactly what I've been trying to, to you know, put together and to say to my girlfriend. So he came back again, and then he... The next time he came back three times, and the wow. third time he brought his girlfriend, and it seemed like everything was getting all patched up and, and groovy. So, yeah. What does this mean for everybody? Everybody who is in a relationship, wants to be in a relationship, just got out of a relationship, you guys have to go and see this play. Ah. Premiering on the Valentine's Day weekend at the Alumni Theater uh, on Berkeley Street, I believe. Mm -hmm. You guys have to get the tickets. Now, but gentlemen always go for the waist yeah. or lower. Is it this? Do you Unbelievable. Want this? Is it this? What is it? You tell me. Or you just messed up my hair. I'm so sorry. Munch, 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 munch. We spin. We spin. We spin it around. Now, what does the girl like to do? <laughs> you like to look around other people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bam. All right. Go. Awesome. I think we nailed it. Now okay. music. I really music. That was. It. There's more. Shoulder blade. Shoulder blade. And one, two, three. Let's go. 